to be welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a passport size photo using photoshop so this is what we're going to do you can easily change the background color to any color of your choice and you can actually switch the images as well if you have a different image you can actually place it on the same background and also change the color the one that you want so let's see how to do this First of all, you need to know the size of the passport you want to use. So it depends on the country you are coming from or the standard size that you want to use. So let's say for American literature, they have their standard size that you are supposed to use. But in my country, I'm going to use my size, which is going to be 35 by 45 millimeters. So that's the standard size I'm going to use. So depending on what you want to use for, just make sure you get the right size to so once you get the right size, you have to go to Photoshop. And what I'm going to do is I'll go to File and then go to New. I'm actually going to set the size from the New Documents window. So the width is going to be 35, the height is going to be 45 millimeters, and then I'm going to leave the resolution around 300 and click on Create. Now the image you have to use, you need to, you need to make sure that you are looking directly to the camera to look exactly like the passport size image. So for this purpose, I went to Pizzles. For the purpose of this design, I went to Pizzles to just pick an image, just pick image that is looking direct into the camera, and you can easily resize and use as a passport picture. Okay, so you can do that. If you want to use your own picture, then make sure you look direct into your camera and pick something like this. Now, when you are done with that, just drag this image to this side, remove the BG, and then just drop it here, and then you can remove the background. And then you can just download it. I've already done that. As you can see, this are the original images over here. This is the original image I used. And then I remove the background and then use that for my design. So now that I've removed the background of these images, I'm going to use that. So I'm going to go for the first one. Just drag this one and then drop it on your main design now. Because we want it as a passport picture, we don't want a full image. So just Hold and then drag out this image until you get something that looks exactly like a passport picture. But to subscribe and then don't forget to turn on post notification in order not to miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. So this is exactly like a passport picture. If I rotate it, if I'm just going to click on the check icon to confirm this. Now, this is set. Now, if you want to change the background color, this is our main background. You can come down and go to the adjustment layer. Click on that and go to solid color. So this is where you can start switching the colors over there. So you can easily change the color of your choice. Okay, if you want, let's say you want a green background, you can pick that sample the size. If you want a red background, you can go with that. If it's a white background, you can pick that. And once you are done with the size you want, then you can save this. You go to file, go to save as, and then save this as a JPEG. Okay, so you can save this as a JPEG. So let's just call this passport. Okay, so I'm going to save this into my download and then we can view this and then see. Okay, so if you come here, this is what we've done. We've just converted this into a passport picture as you can see. This is amazing and you can use for a passport design. If you want to subscribe to this or first time visit my channel and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming You can do that for the same picture. You can do that for the second picture over here. I'm going to just enlarge this and then go for the second picture of the second picture here i'll just drop it drop it on top of the same background i'm going to turn the eye of the first one up and then we can just resize this as well to look like a passport picture so as you can see we have this also placed on it you want to do several of your images as passports make sure you look directly into the camera and then create something like this go and then make sure you get the right size you want to use online and then just make sure you set up that right size you can place this on a card and print as many as you want so you can go ahead and then keep changing the color until you want the color that you want and you find the color you want to so if the background is supposed to be white just go ahead and then pick your white background it's supposed to be a green background let's go and if the size different let's see this size is supposed to be a different size then you can go ahead and then do that like subscribe and let me know at the comment section if you can subscribe to my youtube channel like i can't wait again Bye-bye.